Hello, Wintry Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Brave New World with me, Blue Ankylo. Today, we're heading to Narsh. We could have come here a fair bit earlier, as with all things in the World of Ruin, but uh, because it's a relatively difficult dungeon, uh, I, well, we'll see. Truth is, as some of the, uh, as some of the people that, uh, in, in the other towns have mentioned, Narsh is no longer really habitable. And it has been overrun by nasties. Like nasty dons! Um, we'll find out just how dangerous this area is uh, soon. Looks like uh, the frost gore claw is probably not a great idea here. That did a ton of damage though. Unfortunately, they've got a lot of HP. Alright, any counters. Alright, lots of, lots of nasty physical counters. So does that mean we should be using magic? Maybe I'll learn my lesson quicker this time. It wasn't this brutal in the original game, but uh... That's the thing about Brave New World, is uh, I gotta relearn all the, the difficult enemies. Wait, this guy is supposed to be dead! Lone Wolf? How could you possibly still be alive? Anyway, he's not entirely telling the truth. Also, you might be able to steal something interesting from that guy. Hmm. That just switches the row. That's not too much of a problem. So I'm not sure in uh, Brave New World exactly what they've done with Bum Rush. It used to be stronger in the original game. Um, it should still... Yeah, there's the damage. Uh, Bum Rush should still technically be considered magical damage that uses, uh, your, uh, magic stat. So I'm assuming Sabin, like for Brave New World, they probably changed it to work off of his stamina. Because his magic stat is so terrible. And he doesn't really have any way to, way to raise it. So I would, I would guess that if you want Bum Rush to be awesome, uh, buff up stamina. Oh no! The weapon shop is locked. Also, this is a little bit obnoxious. Alright, so, uh, they seem to counter physical stuff, it seemed. I don't know. I expect the enemies are kind of weak to fire, so it might be better to bring, uh, Terra than, uh, Celeste, because I, I assume most things here are going to be strong to ice. I don't know. I may not have brought a very good party for this dungeon. Alright, that- see, this is- this is, uh, definitely proving why we should not have come here originally. Holy smokes. The, uh, 700 damage to the entire group thing, that's a little bit rude. I should probably remember- I should probably go change Sabin's claws here. I don't expect the lightning one is terribly useful here. Like, I don't think anything's gonna be weak to lightning. Luckily, Cyan finally learns a new skill. Alright, so what you got? Eclipse. That sounds better. I wish he'd learned something like this a lot earlier, because I, he needed some sort of hits all type attack. So I've never seen this one before. That's new to me. Alright. Uh, it would be nice if we had something that gave us ice protection, uh, but I don't think I have anything. Like, well, I got one shield. I'll give it to Celeste, but... Uh, Otherwise, I don't think we've got anything that protects against ice. So we're going to need to find a key in here somewhere that will open up all the doors. Even the end of the world, apparently these uh, these doors were built strong. Got to test this out.
Oh, well, that was dumb. What was I thinking? All right, Eclipse! New move. Not bad, but probably get counter-killed here due to enemy cheating. Oh, I kept... I forgot to change uh, Seven's weapon. That's, like, the real reason I went to the menu last time. I don't know. It doesn't take very long to charge up his skills, at least, so... It's pretty cool. I just wish the enemies didn't always counterattack everything now. And I know that... I mean, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but, like... They just do too much damage here. <laughs> and it could be that Brave New World is designed that you're not supposed to kill till Narsh till way later. But, uh, I don't know. How are you supposed to know stuff like that? <laughs> we're, uh, we're at the point where, you know, we've recruited most of the party. Uh, Locke is, I would always assume, one of the most difficult to recruit members. So this is kind of the last one before him. Looks like we can get in here at least. Anything... Any secrets for us? In the Elder's Hells? Uh, I know in the original Final Fantasy VI anyway, uh, there is something that you really want to visit in the, um, the weapon shop, the blacksmith. So I assume this Dante guy, like, he doesn't seem to have terrible counters, like, I don't mind fighting him too much, it's the, uh, it's the other group, really. Well, the polarity counter is what it is, but it doesn't deal damage, so. And look at that, 200 damage, that's nothing. And then, of course, there's always the jump. The double jump. Alright, getting some levels in there, that'll help a little bit. So let me, before I completely forget, let's get rid of the Frost Gore for the Hellclaw, probably. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of enemies are weak to fire here, so double Hellclaw is probably smarter. In fact, speaking of that, um, it's not a huge downgrade, so we'll go to the Fire Lance. And unfortunately, there's no Fire Swords for Cyan right now. Actually, technically Celeste could, uh... I don't know if this will help much. It's a pretty big downgrade in battle power. But it's not like she's doing any physical damage anyway, so maybe that will help. I don't know. So the next room I'd like to check out, maybe... Oh, this is not good. Uh, would be um, the treasure one, uh, kind of up, up on the hill. Oh, good. Killed in one hit. That's... That's a little bit much, you know... Just saying that, you know, getting attacked and dying in a single blow uh, might be overkill. Just, just, just consider that Brave New World when you're rebalancing everything, you know. <laughs> this group is just the worst. They, they seem to just counter like crazy. Now, I know Sabin was hit in the back, but he did have, like, over a thousand HP or something, so... For Brave New World, we, you know, we have quite a lot of HP. Okay, we can get to the armor shop. That's good. Too bad there's nothing here. So this was our sleepy house. Uh, I expect we can go through the back to get to the mines, which is where we'll go in a minute. Okay, the pincer attacks, I uh, I don't know what's going on. I wonder if uh, this is something Brave New World's changed, because it feels like the, 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 the odds of getting a pincer here have gone kind of through the roof crazy. These guys have a lot of HP.
Okay, I think the double hell claw was the right choice, at least. It's cool, you know, I really enjoy uh, healing between every battle. <laughs> really keeps the pace of the Let's Play just uh, rushing. Anyway, this is the this is the house I'd like to get to. Alright, we'll go full on do everything mode. Full on power mode. Apparently that gets countered, but he dodged. I do love that shock. Well, this fight didn't feel too terrible. I mean, okay, the counter, counter, counter attacks can just end any time now. They really shouldn't get all these extra attacks when you counterattack them. <laughs> that's that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, I know the I know the modders are working on it. They want to fix that too. <laughs> nope, nobody wants to see that. Uh, all right, Esper levels. So if he had a, a pure stamina Esper, I might go for it because it would make some of his attacks stronger. But uh, we still don't have any options for that. So just pure vigor will have to do. Um, same kind of thing for, for Sabin. If he had the option of getting just Vigor, but the 20 HP just doesn't really mean much anymore. And, uh... I don't know if, if Edgar really gets anything out of magic. At least Vigor and Speed are both quite useful. For his jump, anyway. And then, uh... Celeste, I think we're just pumping up her magic still, so... Although magic and speed... Again, it's hard to say which is better. Plus two magic or plus one magic, plus one speed. I don't know. Oh, that was just locked. Fine! Alright, we're gonna go ahead to the Moogle headquarters then now. Trample is too much. It's just too much. I guess with a name like Nasty Dons, should be should expect it. So I am thinking if we get the opportunity later, a um, a stamina build Cyan could be really powerful. If that's a choice, if we find an Esper for that. Just the way Brave New World is set up with all the espers and the stats, I... And the ridiculous encounter rates with freaking this stuff every time. Um, I was thinking like, uh... I, I do think it's a little bit overkill to have, um... Well, well not overkill, I, what am I trying to say? While everyone dies. Um... So, what I'm trying to spit out here is that because characters can equip so much fewer Esper slots, or different types of Espers than originally. Um, yeah, that's, that's fun. <laughs> just gets He just gets two counters whenever he dies. Um, so, so what I'm trying to say is, let's just take a break for a sec. Uh, because people can only equip a certain number of Espers, and some people have very limited Esper equipping abilities, um, it ends up kind of limiting the stats some characters can get even more than the original game. Um, so, it, like, at least they, get, they, they let you respec the, the Esper levels, that's fine. But, like, I assume a stamina build Cyan is something that's a vi viable choice. There's probably one or two more Espers he can equip later on, and I'm gonna guess that one of them gives him plus two stamina. But if you can't get that till the very end of the game, then you get, you know, almost no benefit out of it, kind of thing, you know? Like, you have to you have to hold off his Esper levels right till the last second. So, I, I mean, I'm just saying, like... I wish there was a better way to balance that, so that... You didn't have to wait right to the end to finally... Choose what kind of stats you want. Um, I like limiting the magic a bit. Like, I think the fact that... Not everyone can learn every spell is just great. But, limiting the, the leveling up stats right to the last second for some characters is a little bit... a little bit much. Oh good, a different 
group of enemies. I haven't seen this attack very often, so... Oh, these guys are... These guys are totally no big deal. Now, I assume defeat is like death elemental or something? I don't know. I guess that's a counterattack for when they get hit by magic. Alright, there we go. Auto crossbow, that's the big damage. I guess, I wonder if auto crossbow does uh, double damage from behind now. That, that'd be a nice little change. Alright, just heading through Terra's opening area. Can't open that door from the side, unfortunately. It's a one-way path. I suppose I could equip uh, that relic. There's a relic that uh, in, that uh, prevents back attack and pincer attacks. And I feel like we've had more of those here than anything else. Um, I honestly don't know if defeat will ever work. I can say that auto crossbow is better than I remembered. And I can also say that flurry is as terrible as I remember. Oh there, finally worked. Okay, it turns you into a zombie. That's pretty rude. So they have the ability to cast stop on people and the ability to turn people into zombies on a counterattack. These guys are pretty strong. Like, we're lucky that he attacked there and not didn't kill us. Like, he attacked the enemy, that's what I'm trying to say. Because we're in the back row. Alright, so... Because every single battle practically has been a back attack, let's switch something around here. Um, as much as I enjoy auto regen, let's switch, switch to back guard because that's it's just too much when every every second battle basically is, is a back attack or a pincer attack. I don't remember that being nearly as common in most of the, the original game, but oh, I forgot to heal up. That's great. Yeah, don't forget you need to heal up after every battle. Apparently, that's just the fun way to play Brave New World. Alright, that's not very nice either. Um... Yeah, I don't like enemies that can do that either, because it's so difficult to regain MP in uh, Brave New World. Yeah, that auto crossbow reliably kills all the, uh, the annoying, um, whatever you call them, little gas ball things. That did almost nothing. <laughs> Thanks. At least he didn't change his target and auto crossbow kill the entire party. Imagine if he did 2,000 damage to the whole party with auto crossbow. Alright, this time heal between every single battle. That's fine. And I really don't mean to like overly be critical and complainy, but uh, it just slows it down. I don't know what else to talk about when you have to... <laughs> every fight takes forever. Anyway, here's our Moogle. It's been standing there for a year. I wonder where all those other Moogle friends went. Yeah, I mean, we. I might go deal with that frozen Esper. And maybe we'll go looking for a Sasquatch. So the item he's talking about here, I think, got nerfed or removed. Ah. It was really, really good in um, Final Fantasy VI, like the vanilla Final Fantasy VI. 
Um, because it made it so you did not have to fight any enemy encounters at all. Like, once you equip this on Mog, no random encounters, period. Um, which was amazing. Now, instead, it's, um, I assume it raises his, um, dance chance, so less fumbles. And, uh, it increases his speeds of his jump. Which is still good, like, it's still a really powerful relic. But, um, no enemy encounters was better. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Now, I think we can just get out of here for the moment. If... If we want to, um, to go the other way, because there's... There's two more, there's at least, there's, I guess, three more things to do. There's two more things that I would consider doing right now, um, in Narsh. And, um, I'd like to get more espers, obviously. Um, the one on top of the mountain that you guys remember Terra freaking out with is probably one of these. Uh, we could probably try to get it. Uh, unfortunately, it requires a battle. There may also be a certain Ice Elemental Dragon up there that I'm kind of scared about, so... Just because the area around Narsh has been so dangerous, I'm gonna postpone the rest of the Narsh adventures for later. Because it feels like Brave New World has really made this area punishing. Like, way more than I was expecting. I, you know, I was thinking this might be a little bit difficult, but... Instead, like, every battle has a pretty high chance of just killing people, so... So let's not do Narsh for now. So the good news is we've recruited Mog. The bad news is no, uh, no Sasquatches for now. Okay. Well, the next character to recruit would be, uh, Locke. And unfortunately his takes a big full dungeon, so I might save that for the next episode. Um, let's go have a quick look at Mog, see how he's been doing. We could also go learn his, uh, final dance now pretty easily. So, his final dance that was missing is the snowman something or rather, snow dance. And I think fighting anywhere in Narsh, well definitely the snow field above Narsh, but anywhere in Narsh might cover it too. So, you know, that's fine. And then, uh, might as well equip it to him because he's the only one that can use it, but the Moogle charm... You know, it's a, it's a good amount of speed and stamina. And then if we make him a Dragoon, which currently, um... Uh, currently Edgar's dealing the Dragooning, but, uh, you know, it might work out later on. We'll, we'll test Mog out in the future. He's at a pretty low level with almost no HP, which makes it scary. Looks like he can use Palador the same as Edgar can. Unfortunately, he still doesn't have any Espers that give him HP. So... Magic, which is probably not what I want. Vigor and speed is good for jumping. I guess his dances might use magic, so... Anyway, I feel like characters that don't have access to any HP growth really struggle for the majority of the game. But, uh, you know, the crew's looking pretty, pretty good. Like, we filled it up almost full. So, the next goal, let's see... Alright, I'm gonna go fight one of the dragons that's easy to get to, and I'm hoping isn't too dangerous. Uh, this might not be the right party, but let me just check something. Um, we should have... Gaia gear. So, how many of these do I have? The reason I'm- I'm gonna go after the Earth Dragon next, and the reason I would suggest this is because Float will d disable most of his attacks. Uh, and you can usually get Gaia Gear which absorbs Earth damage and makes the boss kind of a total joke. I'm assuming Brave New World will probably have counters to Float and stuff so that it doesn't work. But, um, I only have one spare. Hmm. Well, I could bring Shadow, but thing is, most of those other characters need to get leveled up before they're going to be very useful, and I'd like to fight. Maybe maybe we'll fight Doomgaze, too. We'll see how it goes today. We'll go try to fight a quick dragon battle. So, wish me luck. But we're going to go back to the Opera House. Now, I'm not sure what element the Earth Dragon will be weak to in this one. Uh, probably not Fire. Maybe Ice. I would probably guess wind or water. 
But I'll just go with the, the claws that do the most damage. And, um... It, it, like I said, it probably won't be fire. Yeah, no, we don't have a lot of ways to deal with, uh... To absorb earth right now is kind of my trouble. It was a lot easier to buy four Gaia Gears in the original game, and they just absorbed all uh, earth damage. And um, I think most people could equip them instead of just a, a small group. I have better... I have better summons here. I like the auto haste. I guess... Do we not have an Esper? We don't actually have an Earth Elemental Esper yet. I bet you if we can win this fight, we'll get one. Oh, before we do this, there's a, a reasonably good chance we die, so let's save it again. This is one of your optional tasks, not uh, directly related to recruitment, but... You know, because it's uh, a fairly quick adventure, I figure we'll try it today. Uh, we don't need to read it again. I just want to see how far we can go this way. And they won't let you on the stage. So if you remember back to the first fun adventures in um, the Opera Land, we uh, there were some switches we could press, and I told you not to press them because uh, you know you'd, you'd mess up the whole scenario. <laughs> so instead, now we're gonna go press some of the bad buttons. Can't quite see the stage. Hurry! So the right button was what um, led us into the sort of area above the stage. That's the lights. That would also have ruined the opera. Apparently that releases the dogs. That lets the dogs out. That's the one that's just teleports to the stage. Alright, wish me luck. At least I put float on, so that's something. Brown Dragon, the Earth One. So, how difficult will it be? No idea. At least we've suplexed it right off the bat. And it has an Earth Claw counter. So I'm assuming then, kind of like how uh, the Purple Dragon had the Wind Claw. Maybe all the dragons have something kind of like that. And we've got the Four Fiends battle again. Oof, a lot of damage. We should probably just buff everyone up. Um, it's gonna take a while. It's probably gonna be a long fight again, so... <laughs> sit back and relax. Assuming we're strong enough. Water is the element you want to use. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Lodestone, what? Counters float? No, just slow. It's kind of slow. Alright. Well, uh... We'll see, we'll see how much damage he does. He might be more dangerous than the Purple Dragon, so... Kind of wanna... Well, that's something different. I don't know what that's gonna do. Uh... A lot of damage is the answer. So... Uh... <laughs> uh... This guy might be way too powerful. We'll, we'll see. Um, I should I should probably just uh, try to get Edgar back up. That did not heal enough HP. Okay, that'll kill Edgar because you know he died and then he couldn't float him quick enough. This is, we're off to a great start. Uh, hold on. Just just a sec. Let's try to get Edgar back up and then heal him. Alright, we gotta we gotta make some progress here. He hits pretty hard again, so we're probably gonna want to put safe on people. And we definitely need to be floating, because the Quake is just going to do too much damage. So, we're going to spend a lot of MP every time someone dies, or uh, some sort of ability ca cancels 
Float? Well, that was good timing for me there. Alright, so... Let's get Cyan hasted here. That'll be haste on everybody, and then uh, we want probably regen next, I'm guessing. Uh, not too many people have auto regen at the moment either, so... I took- I unequipped a lot of life bells. I should have re-equipped relics for this fight, actually. Because stuff like the, uh, back guard doesn't really matter. Uh, when- when the boss is just a boss, you know. I don't know why that was so hard to input. So everyone's got 1300 HP. I like the max HP is all consistent for everybody. We need a regeneration for Celeste, and then we'll start putting safe on people. Oh good, Meteor. That, if it just kills us all, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Alright, we, we can't fight this guy. Unless Shell... I have a feeling Meteor is... Uh, it's probably um, defense ignoring. Uh, which means Magic Defense probably doesn't do anything, and Shell probably doesn't do anything either. So there's a reasonably high chance that this boss is just impossible for us right now, which sucks. Because I think this is how you get the Earth Elemental uh, Esper. But, um... I mean, 1300... I mean, we had 1300 HP and he still killed people, so... Unless there's a way to counter Meteor, but I've never heard of it. Quasar... what does that even do? I forget. Fancy animation. Just a whole bunch of damage. Alright, whatever, you win. Just kill us. Alright, forget about that. Let's just speed through all that waste of my life. Alright, so Earth Dragon looks to be basically impossible at this point in the game. Come back when you've got 2000 HP. It's, I hate it when you fight bosses that just have an attack that just forces you to have a certain amount of HP or else you can't beat them. Now, there may be some gimmick I don't know about. Maybe you can mute the boss or something, but uh, just offhandedly for on camera, that looks like it's not even possible. Um, and keeping in mind that these characters are all characters that have uh, Esper levels that boosted their HP. Other party members would have like a few hundred HP less, so they'd have to be level 35 or so to not die. That's a fair ways off. Well, let's go try the other boss I was thinking about. We'll see if this guy is also impossible. Now, I will do at least one bit of prep here. Um, so, Celeste is going to get death protection from that. Um, who cares about auto haste when you're just going to cast haste anyway? Uh, but I need the... Uh, I think I'm going to want death protection for this next fight. Is there any espers that you can equip that give you death protection? <laughs> hmm. That's a shame. Oh yeah, the back guard doesn't really matter, so we can uh, spirit ring there. So then the only one that's really missing something is Edgar. It'd be nice if he had some equipment that gave him uh, element or death protection, but... There's very little th there's very few equipment that gives us elemental protection, like earth and wind and all these things we need right now. I mean, it's probably good. It makes the, the game a little bit more strategical here, but alright. So there we go. We got uh, death protection for everyone. Hopefully that's all we need. We'll probably still die terribly, but let's try Doom Gaze. Now, he never actually attacked us. Usually, just flying around randomly, you'd get attacked by him at some point. Uh, it's kind of interesting that... Uh, we managed to avoid that until now, and then there's this fancy option here to uh, go hunt him. So there was a couple gimmicks for this boss in the original game. Um, for one, there was a really cheap way to kill him with the Vanish X-Zone trick, where once the boss is vanished, you cast an uh, instant death attack, and because... Uh, there was a bug in the original code. Um, if an enemy was invisible, they would automatically be hit by magic, even if they're supposed to be immune to that status effect, and such as death, they would just die. Now, that was interesting, but... Um, you know, that's uh, something that we, we won't be dealing with here, because that's a, a, a bug that's been patched. 
The other interesting sort of gimmick for Doom Gaze, or Death Gaze, or whatever they want to call them. Of course he does air elemental damage. How much damage is it? Ah, still an awful lot of damage. Um, so, uh, Wind Error Protection. Should have equipped, uh, is it Meduin for Terror or something. But how do I get Wind Protection right now? Not very many options. But, uh, yeah, the other gimmick for Doom Gaze was that he'd run away. And he kind of had, like, a, an HP counter that would persist between battles. So you just deal some damage, eventually he runs away, and then do it again, and over and over again, until you kill him. So I'd like to get Regen on. I mean, I'm not sure if he's going to run away in Brave New World, is, is what I'm thinking. Uh, I've got him slowed. I'm going to try to get Sap on him as well. But given that he does a lot of damage with uh, with his arrow attack, I need to keep everyone pretty well topped up here. And I should probably haste Cyan as well. It's like it doesn't let me select a magic spell when you're under the target of another spell. Alright, that's fine. That's why we brought someone who's really good at curing. That's why we've been pumping up Celeste's magic stats so much. Um, you know what? We should be in an okay position here. Let's do the bum rush. Eh, 4,000. So I expect he's got some sort of death elemental counter, and uh, because I was clever, uh, that's not going to work on us. So I think not everyone's regenerating, but everyone's hasted at least. Maybe we just start trying to dish out some damage here. Who's missing the regen? I just want to see. So Celeste has got it. Oh, he's running away. Alright, so he's still going to do that. So the buffing your party is maybe not the best choice. Just because it uh, wastes too much time. But assumedly, his HP persists between encounters. So all we gotta do is fight him a few times, just dish out damage. As long as he can't instant death attack us, um, we should be fine. At least there was a relic that easily prevented death effects in uh, Brave New World. I'm glad they didn't cut that out. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the Earth Dragon with Meteo, but uh, instant death is apparently not too bad. He might be weak against uh, fire, too, technically. I think he was originally weak to fire, but um, I should probably scan him at least the once. Ah, uh, it is still fire. And holy. And this time we'll die because uh, I'm not being smart. I should have put slow effect on him right away. Actually, because he runs away, the slow is maybe the best choice. And of course, Terra with his, her um, Fire 3 is always a good idea. <laughs> I love that we can suplex him into nothing. That's still that's still pretty good. So I should have equipped Fire Claws and uh, Fire Lance again. That would have helped. I'm not sure Cyan's able to do much damage here, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, I, I guess this guy's maybe a little bit easier than the, um, the dragons. Like, maybe Doomgaze and Funbaba are supposed to be your first tier of, uh, end of the world bosses. And then after that, then you're supposed to think about the dragons. I don't know. I don't know how, um, Brave New World is meant to be, uh, approached. You know, I'm, you know, you can do them in any order you want, but, uh, clearly the Earth Dragon was far superior just with the amount of damage he could dish out to this guy. I almost dare him to run away, because we're just going to equip even stronger weapons next time. He thinks Edgar is hitting him hard with jump now. Just imagine once he's got Fire Lance.
I have a feeling there was no way to counter Doom originally either. So you'd always end up with a Doom counter and die from it originally. I think. Let's see what Shock does, why not? Not bad. Uh, you could probably Runic through some of those attacks as well. Not Wind Slash or anything, but uh, I expect... Uh, there's a reasonably good chance that uh, the Doom spell is a spell that uh, Runic would stop if you're worried about it. So Celeste is still a, a viable choice for that kind of thing. Oops. Bolt 3 you could definitely- well that's- okay, there's his damage. He hasn't actually taken advantage of that till just finally now. So basically if someone gets hit by Bolt 3 they're dead, uh, unless you have uh, lightning protection. <laughs> and I don't think I've got any lightning type protection ava available at this point. Well the force armor would give you 50% or something, but... So unless you've got the uh, the force armor equipped onto Celeste, she's just gonna die. I don't expect that this is the right attack to use for Cyan, but why not? All we need is Edgar to keep doing his jumps, and this is this will be over in no time. Yeah, that attack is just not that great. I guess she did die once, put Regen on again. I expect he'll be running away any second. Eh, I'll just go with uh, the dragon. I think that's probably Cyan's most powerful single target attack right now. Uh, oh, we got him! That was, that was nothing to worry about compared to the dragons, man. I was thinking we were going to hold on Doomgaze for a while because I was worried he was going to be really, really strong. Um, as a random boss that can just attack you while you're flying around. But uh, no, that was that was easy. Should have fought him maybe right after we uh, dealt with Baba, maybe. All you need is uh, death protection. Okay, so we've got ourselves a new Esper. I'm hoping it's amazing. It's even further down the list. Uh, well, it's got Meteor and Flare and MP growth. I'm gonna take a guess that this is for Terra. In the original game, Terra actually learned Flare at a high level. I don't know about it anymore. I just want to see who can equip it, but we'll end the episode here in a second. At least that's one success. The dragons are not as easy as, uh, as you may have remembered. I'll bring uh, some of the random characters that never get to equip anything. And next episode, we'll go after Locke. Uh, well, I might do a little bit of... Honestly, I might do a little bit of grinding to gain... You'll, you'll see. I, I'd like to, I'd like my B team to be a little bit stronger. Okay, so Realm has Star Starlet and Bahamut. So she's caught Flare and Meteor. That gives her some pretty powerful offensive capabilities here. Um, which is what I said she needed. So that's... I, she's got some powerful healing and some powerful offensive magic. She can summon Bahamut for 99 MP, that's also probably pretty powerful. Terra cannot equip Bahamut anymore. Strago cannot... I wonder... there's usually two people each. I can look it up. I have a, a little chart nearby. Bahamut. Or actually I don't, never mind. I'll have to look it up off camera. It might, we might be down to the bottom here where it's actually just one person per Esper and maybe Bahamut is only for Realm. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to teach her these spells. Non-elemental, single targeting, ignoring defense. That sounds pretty good, you know. Alright, let's uh, end the episode here except for one little thing. I just want to show uh, what I'm going to do in between episodes here just to, to help a little bit. Um... I want to go re uh, recruit Locke. I want to have all of my characters recruited next. Uh, so we're going to go into the, you know, the star mountain range. But, um, the reason I've been holding off on this is because you need two groups. So you need at least eight people to do this relatively safely. And, uh, I'm not sure what my party is going to look like exactly just right now. Other than that I've only got, like, four people really geared up very well. So... 
you know, those are the five that I normally would want to bring. I, I'm thinking Realm is maybe a good choice. I'm pretty sure there's also a lot of uh, uh, lores in this dungeon. So again, Strago could learn some lores. It, at least, it, I'm pretty sure it was in the original anyway. Setzer, I'm really not a huge fan of. Gao, I'm also not a huge fan of. So then it's down to like Shadow and Mog. Um, you could have a jumper in each group. Mog is probably a pretty good... He might be better than Strago, honestly. So I might do something like this. And um, Strago seems okay, but I don't think I've got any really powerful offensive spells for him, even though he's got Osmos and stuff, which is nice. Um, and again, I'm not sure about Realm, but uh, I need everyone's level to get a bit higher. Like, basically, I really don't think we can do this dungeon with under 500 HP on some characters. So I'm going to go... Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to do it exactly, but I'm going to try to catch them up in levels a bit. Um, you know, I'm not going to over-level, so if my max level right now is 29 30, um, I'll just try to get Realm to, like, nearly 29 or 30, and then at least everyone will be on, sort of, level playing ground, level playing field. Mid-20s to high-20s, get a couple Esper levels so they've got some better stats, and I'll do the Esper leveling up on camera so you can see how I'm doing it, and, uh, that'll probably do... I uh, actually don't want to do that right now. Just, just so I can prove it. Like, Strago really doesn't have any good spells, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Thanks, Sabin. Uh, if we pull out Strago, is there anything he can learn that's, like, going to deal damage? Uh, he doesn't have access to the higher level stuff yet. Osmos is nice, but you need something to dish. This is not offensive magic. His best offensive spell is Ice 2. Um... Maybe Blaze. I don't know how much damage. These these aren't all that powerful. Like, um... I've got a chart that shows, like, uh, the powers of some of these things. So the Blaze lore, let me just look it up real quick for you guys, has a, a power of 42, which is less than Fire 2. Like, Fire 2 has a power of 54. So, this is not very strong. Aqua Rake is 36 power. Um, you know... So I'm missing out on some of the really strong lores. And if he doesn't have any magic that deals damage, like all we're getting out of him, is, if we bring him, is like his rod attacks. That's not really great. So I think we're going to bench Strago for now. Um, there's a certain tower coming up that he might be the right choice for later on. So um, we'll get to use him at some point. But I'm still not a huge fan of Strago is, is the sad thing. Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm going to go try to level up a few B-team characters. And uh, next episode, we will attempt to uh, to rescue Locke. Or, well, rescue him. To find him, anyway. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.